I thought that's who that was. Hey, Henry, what's going on, baby? Yeah, we're here, John. We are here. Thank God we are here. <laughs> Screaming Jay Hawkins in person. Uh, well, 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 well. How's Henry doing, man? Henry is fine, John. As you can see, he's got his finest clothes on. Yes, he has. Just to impress you. Got his best snake wrapped right on his neck. Got his best snake, his most favorite spider. His slug in the And three mojo bags hanging off his mojo liver. bags. Henry is ready. Mm -hmm. Tonight, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, on the Johnny Otis Show, we are doing it. Tell us about the time when the drifters locked you up in your coffin. Oh, well, they thought that they were having fun. But they didn't realize that there's only three minutes of air in a locked tight coffin with all that upholstery of silk and satin. Don't play with coffin. It is for keeps. I'm the only crazy man in the world that will get in a coffin knowing that I can get out. And the drifters made it impossible to get out, so therefore they became my enemy. I instantly put spells on them. I prayed, I says, God, what have I done to offend thee? If you allow me to live, I promise never to get into this coffin again. And while I was jumping to the left and to the right and kicking and screaming and crying and praying, somehow the good Lord heard me, helped me knock the coffin off the display stand that it was on, whereupon when it hit the floor, it busted wide open. I forgot where I was, what I was supposed to do, and I just easily sidestep to the right and made a bow to the audience and said, please forgive me, I must go. <laughs> That's as close as that coffin ever come to serving its true purpose. <laughs> really? You've been laid really? up in there showing up I in would the right not place. be here tonight, not be here tonight, <laughs> if it don't be for the fact I was able to shake it loose from its foundation. Thank God.